Welcome back to Countdown to Christmas, the post-apocalyptic show. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. And final movie of the day, Secret Santa. So perfect movie for a perfect day. Yeah, as perfect as it can be in our pandemic times. Um, all right, so Secret Santa, written and directed by Mike McKeeran. Or, Mer wait, Mike McMurrin. Murrin. Mike McMurrin. One of those sayings is <laughs> correct spellings here. Uh, Secret Santa, um, there's going to be light spoilers, but I am not going to spoil the end because I want people to see this movie and the end's really fun. All right, so story of Secret Santa is you got college kids in a communal house, I guess, um, and they keep getting little uh, Secret Santa gifts. They get a gift of what's going to kill them, which is super clever. Movie starts off and it sort of has a um, that grindhouse feel, so it's like got this film effect on it. I, the first few minutes, I rolled my eyes. I'm not a huge fan of people faking a look like that because a lot of times the payoff isn't worth the effort they put into their look. But after the five minutes, it helped this movie. It was really it didn't because you didn't go over because a lot of times people will do uh like they'll do fake jump edits or or um or uh like film film shakes and uh like it'll just go to a blank screen and we'll cut somewhere else where it's like way too in it so like this um mike really made a really good film so his film stands on its own so you didn't need all the gimmicks so just a little film scratches and a couple pops here and there uh, really helped. And the soundtrack was top notch. Um, the music I thought was just, it worked really well. I worked on a, a show a few years back and um, our composer, it reminded me of his music that was on our show. It's something I really, I loved the music for that show. It just really felt the, the felt the vibe of the show. And this music really helped. Everything just like clicked. So like to end um, for the countdown to Christmas on this movie was an absolute treat. I've had some ups and downs, but this one, I don't know, it was just something about it. It was just really fun. Everyone in it was really good. It, it just, it works. And that's all I really want. Story-wise, I mean, it's a slasher film, so you didn't have to buy into it. And by putting sort of that grindhouse feel to it, he didn't have to, or Mike didn't over complicate things. And everything sort of pays off, which a lot of these don't. It's just about some people just have a good idea. So they're just filming their ideas without the the whole picture. And I feel like what Mike did by writing and directing and even editing is he knew what he was making, but didn't feel like he loved something. So he kept it in because he thought it was good. Um, and who knows, maybe everything he shots in and maybe some things are out. Sometimes I feel like with some of these films, like a couple uh, films ago, where if you're the writer or director, you just, you fall in love with something and you just keep it in because it makes you happy, even if it doesn't help the movie at all. It's like, well, I, that makes me laugh. It's like, sometimes you just have to, you know, kill, kill the things you like just to, for the overall project to work. Yeah, like I said, I've been usually spoiling most of the movies. This one I didn't really want to spoil. I didn't spoil a Mercy Christmas either. And this has sort of that same vibe. And you could have almost did a grindhouse style of Mercy Christmas with the same outcome. And honestly, I think without the grindhouse, this would have been really enjoyable. But because the music matched the movie and sort of the aesthetic of what he was going for, it just really gelled. And all the actors were really good. Like, uh, here's all their names, or I posted them earlier. I, I, everyone just did their job. There was no uh, bad apples. Because sometimes, you know, even in Mercy Christmas, which I really enjoyed, there were one or two people that were sort of not great. But because everything else was good, you just enjoy it. Where everyone here was really good. And I don't know, I just, um, I'm just so happy... I randomly picked this one to be my last one. It wasn't, there was no master plan on anything. I was just watching a movie day and everything. And then when I picked this one, it was just like, oh, Secret Santa. Like when I was getting close to the end, I was like, well, Secret Santa on Christmas day seems kind of right. 
Um, and I'm glad I saved it. I'm glad I'm ending up on such a positive note. I'm gonna check uh, Mike McMurrin. Am I getting close at all? Um, other films, because I'm really curious of what else uh, this, uh, this man has done. Or Mikey, because I saw Mike and Mikey. So I'm probably butchering and doing everything wrong. If you saw this film, and you have something positive to say, hit Mike up and tell him how much you enjoyed the film. Um, it, it was really fun. And this is, this is why I like living in the times we live in now where uh, this might've been something I would've just saw based on the box. I would've rented at the video store on VHS. But because of all our outlets, you get people to be able to make something like this where it would've just been cumbersome to try to go through the studio process to make something as sort of you know, small, what this person was trying to do. Um, that's why I always say, you know, if you can support the artists and hit them up, give them positive feedback. Cause I think, you know, even if you don't like it, it's like, at least they're still making something. And I think, you know, as long as people are trying to do what they want to do, you should support them. And if you like this, you know, like subscribe and all those things. And if you saw it, did you like it? And that's it. We ended on such a good note. So, Thank you for watching Countdown to Christmas, the post-apocalyptic show. I am going to probably take a day or two off, figure out what my next countdown to something or, you know, what other reviews I'm going to do. There's still the main post-apocalyptic show with John and I uh, that are still going to be being dropped. Um, I think one just came out. There's uh, We have uh, three more in the hopper I need to finish editing. And as always, happy holidays and Merry Christmas because it's actually today. Um, once again, thanks for watching. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas.